I love Roblox, and I also love fighting games, and if you click this video, then that means you do too. I've scoured Roblox long and hard to bring you the ultimate list of 10 jaw-dropping Roblox fighting games that'll get your adrenaline pumping and your fingers ready to pawn some noobs. From gauntlet-wielding beatdowns, devastating finishers, and jaw-dropping animations, this video has it all. Also, before we start the video, I just want to say that these are my personal favorite Roblox fighting games, and I can only include 10 in this video, so if one you like isn't here, or I list one that you don't like, then just remember that this is my list. With that out of the way, get ready to dive into an adrenaline packed world of Roblox combat as we explore my top 10 Roblox fighting games in no particular order. Starting off the list strong is Rampant. Rampant is a player versus player brawler game where you fight against other players across different maps. There's a ton of different weapons to choose from that offer a variety of different playstyles, but I personally chose to use the gauntlets. This game is pretty fast paced and requires you to really pay attention to how you use your attacks since there's a cooldown time on your special abilities. It also takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get the hang of your weapons, you'll be able to chain together crazy combo attacks endlessly and offer no mercy to your opponents. <laughs> I'm literally running out of breath. I personally never heard of this game until I started looking for games for this video, but this game is an absolute masterpiece. Next on the list is a game called Encounters Fighting, which is a game where you choose from a selection of wacky characters and duke it out against an opponent in an arena. This game is much like Smash Bros in many aspects, since instead of having health, you have damage, and as your damage goes up, it becomes easier to knock you off the platform. If you're into having to learn more about the character you're playing as, and really want to be able to hone your skills, then the strongest battlegrounds is the fighting game for you. In this game, you choose from a selection of different characters from the anime One Punch to play as and brawl in an arena against other players. This is another game where you can chain together different attacks and moves to form insane combos and hone your budding mashing skills to completion. This game also has some insane animations for all the characters and also a really thriving community of gamers to find new ways to play and get better at the game every day. I mentioned this game in my last video and I'll probably keep mentioning it since it's a Roblox game that a lot of people know and it's really good. Hey, really quickly before I continue this video, I just wanted to let you know that I have a community Discord server that I run with a few other creators. I'm pretty active there and we're always looking to do community events, so if you join you might end up in one or more of our videos. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to join and we hope to see you there. Now let's get back to the video. All of the games on this list so far have been games without any teamwork involved, so fighting is the next game on our list. If you want another cool fighting game with an insane variation of playstyles, then this is your game. Fighting is a team based game where you choose a character that has a very unique playstyle and fight against other teams across different maps to achieve different goals. As is customary with a good fighting game, you're able to choose choose from different characters until you find the one that you like, which shouldn't be hard because this game has a ton of fighters to choose from. I mentioned this game in my last video as well, where I talked about how I got comfortable with the Saber character, but for this video, I wanted to try playing as Biograft since one of my content buddies told me he was using him in the game at the moment, and I could definitely see why he's good. I also recommended that he try the next game on my list, which is Alternate Battlegrounds. Alternate Battlegrounds is an Undertale-based player versus player game where you choose a character and battle against other players with different attacks and abilities. This game really brings the spirit of Undertale at you full force since you can dodge and parry your opponent's attacks while you're forced to think quickly and use the little moments of time between their barrage of strikes to retaliate. I had a lot of fun with this game and probably played it for the most time out of any of these games since it's very cinematic at times and it really scratches that visual itch that all gamers have. If you're looking for another game that can get addicting though, then Aetherfall Battlegrounds is the game for you. This game is much like the strongest Battlegrounds in terms of basic elements but instead of the fighting being character based, it's weapon based. This game has a huge variety of weapons you can choose from from, and I tried a lot of them. I can't pick one that I liked the most since I was able to do some serious butt kicking with a lot of them, but there's definitely something here for everyone. And of course as usual, this game has some really dope animations for all the weapons. And I seriously meant what I said before, because I want to choose a favorite weapon, but they were all too good. If you want a game that's less about choosing a specific weapon to be good at, but just getting good at the combat system in general, then Combat Warriors is the game for you. Combat Warriors is another fighting game where while you have the choice to gain access to different weapons and use them in battle, you're more likely to win by mastering the flow of the game itself. Itself. You're given a couple of tools to begin with, like a melee weapon, grenades, and a Molotov cocktail, as well as a bear trap, then you're expected to make good use of them accordingly. For instance, you can rush into a fight and just use your melee weapon, or you can slowly weaken other players from a distance first by using your grenades or Molotov cocktails, then rushing them and doing melee damage. As you play through the game, you can also level up and get new weapons with different stats. During my playthrough, I started with the baton, but I ended with the staff, which was faster and a more fluid weapon than what I had begun with. This game also has a really supportive community for learning it and getting better at it. 
which is always good for a fighting game. On the flip side of fighting games, there's games that reward players through weapons and tool progression, like the game Elemental Dungeons, where you fight through and clear dungeons as you level up your tools and abilities along the way. I normally don't play many roguelike games on Roblox, but this one was really addicting and I ended up losing track of time while recording for it. If Elemental Dungeons was too fast paced for you though, the game Neon Knights is probably more your speed. Neon Knights is a top down roguelike game where you battle through a desolate land that's now ruled by robots. The game is currently in beta, but the production quality of the game is through the roof and the development team is hard at work creating an amazing game. Have you ever played Nico's Next Bots? How about Evade? Well if you're tired of running around aimlessly and helplessly and want to retaliate against those pesky next bots, then running from the internet is the game for you. Running from the internet isn't your traditional fighting game, since the way you fight isn't based off of a selected class's moves, but rather through items you can pick up and use to your advantage in the battle. You can use items like bombs and explosive crates in order to climb the leaderboard and become the glorious victor of each game mode. I've covered this game in my last video, but it's so good I had to include it in this list as well. I've also made Roblox videos about it, so you should go check those out. Anyways, that was my complete top 10 list of Roblox fighting games. There's a ton more that I like to cover in the future, but this video can only be so long and I'm running out of time. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.